It's November 21st. It is 10:18 in the morning. Uh, first day back in Connecticut. I need to get a haircut because it's terrible. Bree's gonna give me a haircut, and I'm gonna shave my beard. I think, although it's really cold, so maybe I'll keep it. I don't know for a little while. And um, yeah, I need to get like a bunch of logistical stuff put packed, packed up, figured out, and I need to go see my grandmother. So that's what's on the docket for today. All right, so I have a minor issue. I have a black tie wedding in Istanbul, Turkey, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I ordered a suit online. The pants fit great, but the jacket does not fit great. So it's too big. I need to go to the store and hope that they have my size. If not, I don't know. I don't know what to do, but we'll figure it out, I think. So not good. The jacket that we have here doesn't match the same material as the pants that I have at home. So they don't have the size of the pants that I need in this material and they don't have the size of the jacket that I need in the material from home. So now like I have a mismatched suit and the top doesn't exactly match the bottom because of the material, not the color. Both black material don't match. So So I had to order my jacket online to overnight it. I'm hoping it works. I don't know. Now I'm looking for a belt. I need a belt for my jeans. I lost it. In the Apple store trying to get my phone fixed. My Siri hasn't worked since I got it, so just trying to see what's up with the phone. Uh, I've been waiting for a while, so after this, gotta go home and uh, grab some stuff for, for uh, Bree's work. Okay, so this is why I always shop my suits and stuff at J. Crew. I've been trying to work with Express. I go there. They have all different styles, like material and for this for different sizes, and they're all like mixed and matched. So you can't actually get a suit that matches all together. My fault for ordering the wrong size online for sure. So then I go back and say, alright, I want to do an overnight shipping, I'll pay for it, whatever. We get the guy to get us overnight shipping of the jacket that I need, perfectly fine. It says, oh, you're gonna get an email confirmation with an email. Sure, okay, cool, not a problem. 40 minutes later, still no email confirmation. So I go back into the store, I ask the lady, hey, can we um, get an email confirmation, what's going on? She calls them, they say, oh, they're backed up in the system, so you're not gonna get an email confirmation for 24 hours. Um, so you can't email me in 24 hours, but you're gonna supposedly send me the jacket in 24 hours that I just paid all that extra shipping for? Like, doesn't make any sense any sense whatsoever. This is why you always do things right the first time, because it's so much harder to do things, fix them once you do it wrong the first time. That's that's just the truth. And it's my fault for not writing down the size of my jacket. It's my fault. Man, today's been rough. My battery just died in my camera. That happened to me like the whole trip, and then I'm home and my battery dies. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm on my way to my grandmother's. It's her 95th birthday. We saw the celebration on the 7th. I did like a FaceTime, but I'm here now, and it's her actual birthday. She's 95 today, and that's really sick. So I'm going to take her out to dinner, and yeah, so you get to see her on camera, which is cool. I, like, I'm really excited to like capture her on camera. She's probably going to be like, why are you doing this? This is silly, but um, anyway, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? Good. Oh, good to see you. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing all right. I can't get in the cold. That's this is my grandma. <laughs> She's 95 today. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think today. I don't know. There's it so many dates. Today, yeah. <laughs> today. Yeah. Well, how does it feel to be 95? No, I don't feel any different. <laughs> <laughs> From 21 to 95, the same. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> not so, but as long as I can get around, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. As long as I can walk and get around.
those clubs before. Now they don't have them. What kind of clubs? You know, like the, the, the Wonder Bar and you go dine and dance, you know, go out to eat and then they have dancing. Mm. Like classical dancing? Yeah, you know, Klaus Johnny. The swing, like... Mm. I still could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach you. <laughs> well, you young kids, uh, you missed out on the dancing part. <laughs> yeah. All those nice clubs, you know, you go out to eat and then stay there and dance. Have a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a couple of drinks. Yeah? <laughs> Get crazy? No, and I never got <laughs> two drinks was the most I drink. I tell you to drink Ward Eight. <laughs> yeah, Ward Eight. <laughs> I try to look that up, I don't know. I know. It was it a cocktail? Or just a, a, a tall glass. Yeah. I think you looked it up one time. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember yeah. what it was. All right, Grandma, any 95-year-old advice? <laughs> like what? I don't know. Keep busy. Keep busy? <laughs> Keep busy and think young. <laughs> yeah, as long as you got your health, you got everything. Yeah. No. You used to tell me I'm going to pee on your grave. <laughs> mine, mine. <laughs> you always used to say that. I said, yeah, I'm going to pee on yours. <laughs> He'd be, let's see, he died when he was 86? Yeah, how many years has he gone? You know, he's gone 16 years for the one. Yeah. He'd be 100. Yeah, over 100. Over 100. Yeah. 100. You gonna get to 100? Yeah. No? Yeah, I got what, five years? Yeah, five years. I want to dance at your wedding. <laughs> You're not going to wait five years, are you? I don't know. I don't think five so. years for a baby. <laughs> yeah, you got to wait five years for a baby. No, no. I would love to have one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got four boys. Oh, boy. It wasn't easy. What one thought the other one, what one did the other thought of doing something else. And, oh. I was always hollering at them. My parents were young. My mother and father, they were about 84. Both of them. That's kind of old. That's a lot. 84? Yeah. When you died at 84? I don't know, that's not the way. It's pretty old. I feel like once you get the 80s, you're kind of on borrowed time. <laughs> well, yeah, we're all on borrowed time, really. But <laughs> yeah. Depends on your health, too. Okay. All right, I love you. Uh, maybe I'll go to uh, play cards and maybe I won't. Okay, yeah, I'll let you know when I'll come by. I'll, uh, be, uh, I'll be home in the afternoon. Okay. Sounds good. I okay, should go. All right. I feel like a cough coming on, you know, cold. Okay. Okay, honey. All right, I love you. I love you too. So that was my amazing grandmother. It was her 95th birthday. Um, the day's over. I am going to bring Bree some dinner. It's like 9.30. She's closing the restaurant today. So I'm going to go bring her some dinner. My grandmother insisted that we buy her something there uh, at, at the steakhouse. So we're going to bring her some food. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of today.